Hey everyone, welcome to Coffee and Crafting. If you're new to my channel, my name is Lori and welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for coming back. In today's video, I'm sharing 12 DIYs using thrift store items that will give you lots of ideas and inspiration to tackle those thrifted finds you may have in your home that needs a little TLC. So if you like home projects, thrift makeovers, and easy to make home decor all on the budget, then I hope you will consider to subscribe to my channel and join my DIY family. So grab a coffee or your favorite drink and let's start. For this DIY, I have a wood box from the thrift store. I removed the metal ends and painted them with DIY little black dress paint. I also painted the screws. When they dried, I screwed the ends back on and gave them a coat of Big Top to seal the paint. And that is it for the simple makeover that I will be using as a shelf in my living room. For this DIY, I have a large candlestick from the thrift store. I spray painted it with the Ultra Matte Paint and Primer in white from Rust-Oleum. I had part of a rusty metal bird cage. I used E6000 and put it along the top edge of the candlestick, placing the bird cage on top. I added reindeer moss from the Dollar Tree inside and a battery operated candle. I love how this turned out. It was simple and easy and looks beautiful on my table for spring. I found a wood wall decor piece at the thrift store for $4.49. I painted the apple picture with the linen white chalk paint from Rust-Oleum. Be 
When it dried, I painted the decor piece with the ivory chalk paint from Waverly. I have part of a transfer that was left over from a different DIY. It fit perfectly on the decor piece. I rubbed the transfer on using a stick it came with. I have another part of a different transfer that got ruined by accident, but I'm going to salvage part of it. As you can see, part of it would not adhere to the wood, so I brushed DIY liquid patina on the wood and placed the transfer on top. I added another part of a different transfer on top. I brushed DIY dark wax on the decor piece and wiped off the excess to give it a rustic old look. and I sealed the piece with a coat of liquid patina. As much as this piece was challenging to do with the transfers, I still think it turned out sweet. I will be placing this on a shelf in my she shed. Let me know in the comments what you think of this one. I found a Meadow Create sign for $2.99 at the thrift store. I painted it with the linen white chalk paint first.
When it dried, I gave her a coat of the Mars chalk paint from Waverly. I have some mini colorful flowers from Timu. I cut the backs off and glued the flowers along the bottom of the Create sign. And that was it for this easy makeover. And I love how this one turned out and it hangs in my craft room, giving me inspiration to create. My husband found this unique little bird face. I wasn't really keen on the color, so I decided to paint it with the Ultra Matte Paint and Primer from Rust-Oleum. When it dried, I painted the vase with a coat of the Moss Chalk Paint from Waverly. I brushed on white wax on the vase and wiped off the excess to give it a whitewashed look. And I now like how this vase turned out, and so did my husband. I added flowers inside the vase, and I think it looks adorable. I love the color, and it's perfect for spring. I found a wicker mail holder at a yard sale last year. It was originally brown and I spray painted it with the Ultra Matte Paint and Primer in white from Rust-Oleum. When it dried, I painted the holder with the Moss Chalk Paint from Waverly. I brushed white wax on the holder to give it a whitewashed look.
I place pieces of flora foam inside the individual holders. I added spring flowers and greenery that I had in my stash to each of the holders. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes this mill holder turned into a beautiful spring and summer flower holder that is hanging on my kitchen door. And I think it's beautiful. Let me know in the comments what you think. For this DIY, I have two candle holders from the thrift store for $3.99. I spray paint them first with the ultra matte white spray paint from Rust-Oleum. When they dried, I painted the candles with the agave chalk paint from Waverly. I brushed white wax from Waverly on the candle holders. I wiped off the excess for a whitewash look. Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down These turned out sweet and they are going to look amazing in my she shed for summer. Let me know in the comments what you think of these ones. For this DIY, I found the small metal chair at the thrift store for $4. I painted just the seat part with the linen white chalk paint from Rust-Oleum. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. 
I have a piece of an IOD transfer. I cut to the center of the transfer as that is the only piece I want to use on the chair. I rub the transfer on the seat using the tool it comes with. Somehow unexpected love was found. You're the rose in a garden and it shows if I'm lightly sand it along the edges to bring out the blue from the original color. I sealed the chair with a coat of Big Top. I think this chair turned out adorable. I will be placing it in my garden for summer. Let me know in the comments what you think. For this DIY, I have a metal tray I found at the thrift store for $3.99. I painted with the linen white chalk paint from Mistolium and gave it two coats of paint. When it dried, I picked a transfer from the Burkant transfer book from IOD. I used the plastic tool it comes with to rub the transfer onto the tray in the center. I brushed Big Top on the tray to seal the paint and transfer. When it dried, I brushed DIY Dark Wax on the tray and wiped off the excess to give it a rustic look. And that was it for this DIY. I love this tray and it will be a beautiful addition to my shelf in my she shed. Let me know in the comments what you think of this tray.
For this DIY, I found this wildflower stool at the thrift store for $3.99. I painted the flower with the linen white chalk paint from Rust-Oleum first. When it dried, I painted the flower with the buttermilk cream color from Fusion. I painted the legs and the center of the flower with DIY Little Black Dress paint. I sealed the stool with a coat of Big Top. I love, love, love this flower stool. It's so cute. I'm not sure yet where I'm putting it for spring, but I know wherever it goes, it will be well loved. Let me know in the comments what you think of this one. This DIY, I found a metal container for $3.49. I painted it with a coat of the linen white chalk paint from Rust-Oleum first. When it dried, I gave it two coats of the agave chalk paint from Waverly.
I picked a bird transfer from the Brocant transfer book from IOD. I used the tool it comes with and rubbed the transfer on the container. I sealed the container with a coat of Big Top. And that is it for this easy and simple DIY makeover. I will be using this as a flower pot for summer in my garden. For this DIY, I have a jar and lid. I painted the lid with the buttermilk cream paint from Fusion. I picked a flower transfer from an IOD transfer book and rubbed it on to the jar using the tool it comes with. And that is it for this DIY. I love making over jars and this one is sweet and I will be using this for candy in my she shed. I hope I inspired you today with some ideas on how to make over simple and easy decor pieces from the thrift store. Sometimes all you need is to paint it to your style and add flowers or transfers. I want to thank everyone for joining me today and I hope I'll see you in my next video. So until then, have a beautiful day and bye for now.